वेलकम बैक माय यूट्यूब फैमिली सो इन द प्रीवियस एपिसोड वी हैव क्रिएटेड दिस सेल्स डैशबोर्ड एज वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट वी आर क्रिएटिंग अ कंप्लीट वेयर हाउस सिस्टम वेयर वी विल मैनेज द स्टॉक इन स्टॉक आउट एंड द क्लोजिंग स्टॉक इन टूडे एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ डैशबोर्ड वेयर वी विल बी ट्रैकिंग द स्टॉक इन ऑफ द वेयर हाउसेज सो दिस इज द आउटलाइन अबाउट द डैशबोर्ड सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू दिस पावर पीवर्ड एंड आई एम गोइंग टू दिस मैनेज फ्रॉम हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू draw a pivot table existing sheet select this one and i want to paste it here okay okay right click on it show field list so my first chart that i needed date wise stock in so i'm going to visit this calendar from calendar i will be selecting this day in row and from warehousing i will be selecting this total in so this is my date wise stock received in the warehouse then i'm going to visit this insert from insert i will be selecting this one at the end i will be visiting this pivot table analyze stock in date wise then i'm copying and pasting this pivot table again and my second requirement is category wise stock so i'm going to select category from product so this is my category wise stock and now i'm going to visit this insert from insert i will be selecting this one this is my second requirement and now i'm going to visit this pivot table analyze this is stock in category again i'm copying this pivot table and my third requirement is sub category wise stock in so i will replace this category this category with this sub category and again i'm going to this insert from here i will be selecting this one and i'm going to select this pivot table going to pivot table analyze stock in sub category again i'm copying this pivot table and my next requirement is product stock wise so i will replace this sub category with product name and from here visiting this filter icon and from here going to this top 10 okay it will give me my top products right click on it sort from largest to smallest so these are my top 10 products then i will be visiting my this pivot table analyze and stock in product going to this insert from insert i will be selecting this one i will right click on it and sort from smallest to largest similarly right click on it sort from smallest to largest similarly i will be visiting my this one right click on it sort from smallest to largest so my last requirement is supplier name so again i'm copying this one pasting it here so i'm clearing the filter firstly then right click on it show field list from field list i will replace this product name with my this supplier name and right click on it top 10 okay insert going to this chart right click on it sort from smallest to largest selecting this pivot table going to this pivot table analyze and this is my stock in supply wise so now the width and the height of my this date wise chart must be this one so i'm selecting this one format from here i will be selecting this width to 15.58 then i'm going to pasting one sheet here and this is my stock in dashboard i'm selecting my this date wise chart control x and control v here again i'm visiting this one and width and height of this chart must be this 5 to 3.2 control x and paste it here again visiting this one format 5 3.2 control x control v similarly i will be selecting this one format 5 3.2 control x and paste it here similarly this is my last and format 5 3.2 control x and control v so now i'm selecting this one from here auto hide ribbon now i'm going to select these grid lines selecting this total and this is my day wise stock in control a control b for bold and i'm going to this home here i will be selecting this black and the text color will be white make it arial similarly i will be selecting this one this is my category wise stock in control b and changing it 
background color, text color, area. Right click on it, this one, and hide all field buttons. Similarly, this is my subcategory wise stock in control B. Again, same formatting area. Right click on it and hide all field button. Similarly, this is my product wise stock in control B. And right click on it, hide all field buttons. Similarly, this is my supply wise stock in control B, applying same formatting area. Right click on it and hide all field buttons. Now I'm selecting this total, pressing delete from my keyboard, selecting these grid lines, delete. Similarly, selecting this one, delete, selecting these grid lines and press delete from my keyboard, selecting this one, delete. Similarly, I'm selecting this one, delete, selecting this one, delete, this one and this one. Now I'm going to apply this data labels. Similarly, I'm selecting this one, applying data labels, this one applying data labels. Similarly, this one applying data labels. Similarly, this one applying data labels. So I'm selecting this data label, control B. Similarly, I'm selecting this one and changing its background color and text color. Similarly, this one changing its background color and text color. Similarly, this one changing its background color and text color. Similarly, this one and changing its background color and text color. So now I'm going to visit this my view and from view, I will be removing this grid line and this heading. Now I'm going to press shift from my keyboard, selecting this, 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 this. And now I'm going to visit this shape format from align i'm selecting this align top and distribute horizontally now this is looking perfect i'm going to visit this subcategory wise stock in and right click on it sort from smallest to largest now this is looking perfect so now i'm going to remove these buttons as well right click on it and hide all field buttons i'm just selecting all of these category and just making them bold first of all i will be selecting this chart and i'm going to visit insert and from insert i will be selecting these slicers i need year month and from product i need category and subcategory and from supplier i need the supplier name supply name so i need all of these slicers now i will adjust these slicers as per the space i have on my dashboard i'm selecting this slicer and i'm going to this slicer and i will make it three then i will right click on it going to visit this slice setting hide items with no data so simply i'm selecting this category and i'm going to slicer I'm making this three. Similarly, I'm selecting my these subcategories and going to my slicer. I'm making it four. And at the end, I'm adding my supplier names and I'm making its column to three. Now I'm pressing shift from my keyboard and selecting all of my slicers. And I'm going to this slicer align, align on left and distribute vertically. Now again, I'm selecting all of these and dragging it on the right side now if i'm selecting any my slicer this is only slicing this chart but this is not slicing the whole dashboard so for this i need to select this slicer and i'm going to slicer to report connection and here i have to connect all the reports okay again i'm selecting this one and i'm going to this slicer report connection Again, I'm selecting this, going to report connection, again selecting this one and repeating the same process. Now, if I will be selecting any slicer, it will slice the whole dashboard. Here, I have selected the accessory. So, this is showing me the daily sales of the accessories. This is accessory. Accessory consists in wallets and bags. These two products are under these subcategories and these accessories we got from these suppliers. So, similarly, you can review the data of clothing. You can review the data of electronics. Even you can slice the data with reference to the month. So, now these slices are 
connected with the whole dashboard and you can slice data as per your requirement. We have completed our stock in dashboard, stock out dashboard and this report is also ready. Now at the end we have to prepare the home page that we will be preparing in the next and last episode. So thank you so much for your time and I will see you in the next episode of this playlist. Goodbye.